If you thought the legal battles involving the WWE games franchise were over, you'd be sadly mistaken, as in recent developments, it looks as if WWE and 2K may be headed back to the courtroom ahead of WWE 2K23. Now if you're not familiar with this current situation, I would highly recommend checking out these two videos for the full context, but if you're just looking for the TLDR version of events, WWE and 2K were taken to court by a woman called Catherine Alexander, who claimed that the companies violated her copyright by using Randy Orton's tattoos, which she designed and applied to Orton's body, inside of the WWE video games. The case eventually ended up in a jury trial, which ruled in favour of Catherine, where 2K were forced to pay $3,750 in damages. This was a shocking verdict to say the least, because not only could it have big effects on everyone who has tattoos within the WWE games franchise, but it could also have even more widespread effects, as this could affect all types of video games, and maybe even all types of media, including movies, TV shows, commercials, and more. However, in the latest developments to this story, WWE and 2K are not looking to take this lying down, as they filed a motion with the US District Court on the 31st of October. In said motion, WWE, 2K and all of the other parties involved are arguing for a judgement as a matter of law, and if that fails, they are arguing for a new trial on the issues of fair use, waiver, estoppel and licence under Federal Rule 59. In an article posted to PW Insider, Mike Johnson writes, The argument in the motion is that the ultimate question of fair use, in regard to the WWE video game series using the tattoos Alexander inked on Randy Orton in his video game character, is for the court to decide, not the jury. Stating, based on the admitted and undisputed facts and consistent with both Supreme Court and Seventh Circuit law, this is precisely a scenario in which fair use applies. The defendant argues that evidence shows consumers would not and did not buy the WWE 2K video games instead of Orton's tattoos and that their purpose in including the tattoos are different from Alexander's purpose in creating them. The motion also argued, Tattoos are bound up with the rights of the individuals on whom they are inked, and unlike paintings or other artwork, are permanent parts of a person's body. This makes them far from the core of what copyright law is designed to protect. Further, these particular tattoos were copied from pre-existing sources and used common tropes, making them not creative, and were inked on a famous wrestler on whom they are regularly observed in public. They also argued, defendants' use did not harm the market for the tattoos, because, as plaintiff's testimony showed, there is no market for licensing the tattoos in video games. In fact, there is a public benefit from allowing tattooed people to show freely and allow others to show their bodies. All four factors thus favour a finding of fair use, and defendants are entitled to judgement on this issue as a matter of law. WWE and the other defendants also argued that Alexander closed her case in chief without presenting legally sufficient evidence to prove actual damages or disgorgement of profits, on which she bore the burden of proof. With regard to actual damages, plaintiff failed to articulate any measure of actual damages that was not based on undue speculation. Obviously, there's quite a lot of legal mumbo jumbo typed up there, but what this basically boils down to is that WWE are not only not happy with the ruling, but there are multiple reasons why they are not happy, including the ruling itself and how they believe it goes against fair use, as well as Catherine's defence and how they feel there wasn't enough behind it for the jury to come to the ruling that they did. There's a fair bit more included in this motion, so if you want to check out the full article posted by PW Insider, I'll leave the link to that in the description down below. But here we are folks, the fight that had seemingly been lost by WWE 2K and Co continues to rage on, and based on this new motion, there could be a different outcome this time around. Of course, as usual, I would love to hear all your thoughts and opinions on today's topic at hand, so make sure to tell me what you make of this whole situation in the comment section down below, and while you're down there, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more updates to this story. Thank you very much for watching, and if you like this video, you may enjoy one of these ones as well.